Hello everybody, welcome to Phoenix History. This has got to be one of the most incredible things I've seen personally. I've only ever seen two similar types of uh, World War II searchlight battery. But this one has to be one of the most amazing ones I've seen. So I want you to check it out with me. See you on the other side. It's kind of incredible to sort of think really how rare these these actual types of World War II bits of history are and I think if you're a connoisseur of World War II history you really appreciate it. This has got to be one of the most amazing things you can see really. It's really well laid out. Obviously it's rusted but obviously you can imagine the searchlight battery being in the middle and then around this would have been, they would have infilled this and this would have been the outline for it. Just incredible. So rare. See, I mean, what you're seeing, like I said, is just an incredible bit of history. Um, the only other one that I know of in Kent or searchlight battery is on the Medway lines, uh, and that's a different variation of a searchlight battery. And that's in really good condition because it's under a preservation, but this, the fact that this is in a farmer's field in the middle of Essex, it's just, I've never ever seen anything like this in all of my exploring. Um, so for me, it really is like a rare gem. I don't think people realize how rare these searchlight batteries are, especially ones like this. It's just, I mean, <laughs> so obviously you've got to imagine that this is, the, this is the ring and obviously they would have packed this up. And then <clears throat> as you go out, like I said, you've got you would have had the searchlight in the middle. Oh, you wouldn't have had it there. Have had it here. Let's 
to go around. And you would have had it right in the middle, looking up at trying to spot Germans. Just, oh, just an incredible bit of history. It's rare, really. Normally, normally I don't get excited about like you know <laughs> many things, but this has to be one of the best smallest finds I think I've seen in a very long time. It's just, yeah, what an incredible, incredible thing to see. Like I said, even though there's not much of it left, what is left gives you plenty of imagination to understand what this would have been for. Because I reckon most people initially would have been like, well, it's got something farmer type of thing, you know what I mean? Like it's got some farming connotation, but to think this was actually in use in World War II and had a very important use, just amazing. Absolutely incredible. So you've got a ridge uh, that goes behind, and then you, if you look out, you've got the main whole oh, kit out actually. You've got the road. If I get out, oh, there we go. You've got the road, which is outstretching there. Yeah, just absolutely incredible. What a find. Well, fine to document more importantly. Right, I'm in the car, the uh, wind started to really pick up. I don't really like doing like, videos in the car, really. It's not the best ideal, but when the wind's as bad as it is, it probably makes sense. But um, in the immortal words of Phoenix history, because history matters, thanks as always for watching, and I'll see y'all very soon. And remember, like, share, oh, and more importantly, subscribe. Spread the word, spread the love. Thanks always. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. Kapow!